good morning everyone and welcome to Learn Reality Console. Today we will learn how to create multiple buffers in QGIS and ArcGIS. Before I'm demonstrating practically by using QGIS and ArcGIS, let's learn more about what buffers means in GIS world. Let's get started. What is buffering in GIS? The buffer is an area defined by a bounding region determined by a set of points at a specified maximum distance for all nodes along segments of an object. How does buffer look? These are the input points lines and polygons you will appreciate more of these things when we are demonstrating practically using qgis and arcgis output dissolve type none when you put it in the parameters output dissolve type none this is the results these are the points it means that each point is uh, circled separately overlapping each other see output dissolve type it means that it's more like this uh, each point is being made with that distinct boundaries see What are the two main methods of buffering? In GIS well, there are two main methods of buffering that the Euclidean buffers, which measures a distance in two dimensional Cartesian plane. Euclidean buffers are the more common type of buffer and work well when analyzing distances from features in a projected coordinate system. The last one is geodesic buffers are those that account for the actual shape of the earth, an ellipsoid or a more properly a geo. Distances are calculated between two points on a curved surface as a geo, meaning that with reference to these two main metals that are used for determining buffering geodesic buffers are more accurate because they take into consideration the curvature or the geoid nature of the earth while Euclidean mostly calculate uh, the buffering based on flat surfaces of the earth taking consideration that the earth is flat So having understood what buffering means and the two main methods of buffering, now it is imperative for us to know why do we do buffering? Why buffering? You know, buffering it is very useful doing proximity analysis. For example, proximity of social amenities. If you want to find out social amenities like water and some other facilities like ATM around the central business district within a particular radius, let's take five kilometers radius, how many ATMs can be found within those areas? Buffer can help us to achieve that. You also have proximity of rivers to waste disposal size. If you want to know this, what type of rivers which are more closer to water disposal size, then you can use buffer, buffer method to determine that. Proximity of ledger size to specified neighborhoods. If you want to find out which neighborhoods are more closer to um, 
uh, leisure sites like garden parks it is imperative and important to use proximity uh, to for more preference to help you to achieve that there are countless examples that you can mention why bathroom or importance of bathroom there are a number of reasons but at this point let us demonstrate practically how to conduct buffering in both QGIS and ArcMap. So let's get started. These are the interfaces of the two most notable softwares QGIS on my left hand side and ACMA on my right hand side. I've loaded some places in both QGIS and ArcGIS and they are more or less like the reference point from which buffering will be done. So let's start the buffering by using QGIS. By using QGIS, we need to install some plugin that would enable us to perform this monitoring uh, buffering. So let's go to plugins, manage plugins, type multi multi ring buffer. It's here. Click on it, install. has been installed now you can go to vector choose monitoring buffer let's see monitoring buffer click on so layer to be buffered you can choose the places dissolve features before buffering just click on the buffer distance Let's leave one thing. Number of rings. Let's leave about five rings. I can center it. And this is clip of it. So 50, 40, 30, 20. So instead of 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. That's the buffer in this one. Okay, then close. And now let's demonstrate how it is done by using 
akma akma you can go come here up to box come to analysis come to proximity monitoring to buffer the bottle on it shoes places distance between 10 meters twenty Dissolve option or okay. And wait for the buffering to be performed. Okay. This is basically how to perform a monitoring buffer in both QGS and ArcMap. Thank you very much for watching this video. To see more videos of this nature, and to subscribe to the console for more videos. Thank you. Bye bye.